and welcome to West Hill Golf Club here in Surrey, where today Michael Harris and I are out testing the two new trolleys from Motorcaddy for 2016. I have the new S1 and Mike, you have the S3 Pro. Now, the uh, S1 is designed to be a really simple electric trolley, just one that you can get out and use very easily without um, too much faffing, really. Just get out on the golf course and enjoy it. Mike, uh, how's the S3 Pro? How does this differ from that one? I think it's got a lot more bells and whistles, Neil. That's really the key thing. It really is the gadget lover's trolley and it really has got everything that you need. Before we get into some of that technology, we're just going to talk about some of the um, features that are the same between the two trolleys because there are a few things that are the same. Now firstly you have the quick fold system. Now it enables the trolley to be folded down in just a couple of very simple easy movements which anyone who's ever had an electric trolley in the past will know. Sometimes you can stand there looking at your electric trolley for what seems like an eternity trying to figure out what buttons need to be pushed and where things need to be folded. This is very simple and easy to use. You also have the easy lock bag system which means that a motor caddy bag can just be clipped on top of the trolley and that really improves the stability of the trolley and you have the same really good ergonomic handle which makes it really easy to maneuver around the golf course. Finally I'd say the low profile wheels which are new for 2016 uh, which really give the trolley a really sleek uh, look. Mike tell us about some of that extra functionality that your trolley has that the S1 doesn't. Absolutely. I mean, really, it, it all comes down to the information that's in the new display. Just a quick look at the screens from the two trolleys will show you the amount of information the S3 Pro can give you. I mean, it is everything from a time, a round timer, a uh, lost ball timer, which is really interesting. You can set that going. It starts at zero, counts up to five minutes. When you get to five minutes, if you're still looking for your ball, there's an audible beep which tells you you really have lost your ball if it's if it's beeping you've not found it by that point uh, there's a battery meter of course which shows you uh, how um, how high your charge is uh, if you're playing an elite competition not something that neil and i uh, are likely to be doing you can put it into a competition mode that means it's conforming to the rules of golf uh, there's a usb charger as well if you've got whether it's a gps or your mobile phone running low on charge and also you can send the trolley forward anything from five to sixty yards with the advanced distance control and it all works uh, through the three buttons on the handle. As Neil said, it's an improved ergonomic handle, really nice, soft touch, easy to manoeuvre. Well, as you can see, we have the golf course to ourselves this morning. Sadly, the sun's gone in, but we're going to head out to give these two trolleys a really good test. Okay, so we've had the chance to put both of these trolleys through their paces. Uh, and I'll be honest and say that I'm actually not uh, an electric trolley user. I'm always someone who's carried a, uh, my golf clubs. But if I was to have an electric trolley, it would certainly be one like the S1. From the moment that you pick it up, unfold it, put the clubs on, to going, it's so easy to use. There is no faffing with this electric trolley whatsoever. Whenever I've used trolleys in the past, whether they're push trolleys or electric trolleys, always feel like I'm fighting with my golf bag to keep it on the trolley. At no stage did I ever worry that these clubs were going to come off uh, the trolley. So I was really, really impressed. Mike, what about you? Well, interestingly, unlike Neil, I have used an electric trolley, I would say, for the last uh, 10 years at least. So while I appreciate Neil's point that you can't go absolutely everywhere, and Neil does go to some interesting parts of the golf course, uh, I think you get used to it. As a trolley user, you learn where to put your clubs. I think also one of the really great things, of course, about the S3 Pro is that it's got that advanced distance control function, so you can send it off, uh, and it then means you're not walking back for your trolley. One of the things, actually, that I've found really good is that the uh, new improved battery casing, it can, when you play in the UK, particularly through the winter, get quite muddy. This is really, really easy to clean as well. More streamlined, very interesting to look at the performance, very, very whisper quiet. The range of uh, battery options you have, whether it's lead acid or lithium, and I know Motor Caddy are really keen that golfers, even though it is an upcharge in price, really consider lithium because of the benefits of it. So much more reliable, it's quicker to charge, easy to charge between rounds as well. You could get enough if you just had an 18 hole lithium battery, put it on an hour's charge between rounds, get enough to be able to go out again in the afternoon. Motor Caddy do offer, of course, the extended life battery, 
which is a 36 hole. Yeah, and I would say that the lithium battery version as well, it's just so much lighter. Again, one other thing that's probably worth mentioning are the, the Pro Series bags that we've both had the chance to test. I think the bags strike a great balance between being big enough to carry everything you want without being over-designed and way too big. There's, there's not a million and one pockets. You're not going to feel like you've lost your car keys are somewhere in there, but you don't know where. Motor Caddy certainly do a big variety of bags, whatever your budget, whatever your, your taste and style is, uh, there is definitely something to suit you in the Motor Caddy range. Everything from having the, the putter well there, I can even get in uh, my big putter there with a the big fat grip into there. So some fantastic new products uh, from Motor Caddy. The S1 is 299 for the lead acid version, 399 for the lithium version, then you can get the extended lithium yeah. version. Mike, I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you remember the prices? Uh, I think the most expensive model, which is the extended life on the S3, is, is 5.29. Obviously, that is its premium price, but if you play a lot of golf, I think having an electric trolley just allows you to enjoy the game more, get all your stuff around, particularly in the changeable conditions we have in the UK, when you need your waterproofs in there, uh, when you're taking layers on and off as well. What Motor Caddy have done is they've designed two trolleys, great functionality, really stylish, and of course, that reliability is what Motorcad have really built their reputation on, reliability. And I think when it comes to electric trolleys, reliability is really one of the key things. So there you have it, two fantastic trolleys from Motorcad. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled for them in 2016.